right, in this video, um, we're going to be taking a look at how to go about writing the equation of a tangent line to a given circle at a given point, that point being on the circle. So probably the approach I would take here is maybe do a little um, sketch just to see it visually before you attempt to work it out algebraically. If I take right here and look at this equation of the circle, then I should be able to real quickly find the center of the circle. All right, the center is going to lie at 3, negative 2. So I know my center is at 3, negative 2. And then I know a point, all right, that point is where the tangent line is going to occur. That point will lie on my circle. So I'm going to do a little, little rough sketch over here. All right, not drawn to scale by any means. But if I take that 3, negative 2 and plot it, then right there is going to be the center of my circle. It's going to be a 3, negative 2. All right, now the point 5, 3 needs to land on the circle if I'm going to have a tangent line going through it. So there's 3, 4, 5, maybe a 1, 2, 3. So 5, 3 might be somewhere right in there. So there's 5, 3. Okay, now this is the center of the circle. This is the edge of the circle. So without drawing the entire circle, my circle is something like this. This is the center of the circle, obviously not drawn to scale here by any means. And then this would be the radius going out. I'm wanting the equation of the tangent line. The tangent line to that point would be that line right there. That right there would be my tangent line. All right, well, when you draw a tangent line to a circle, to the radius, okay, you are guaranteed a right angle. So then if I know the slope of this radius, I can do the negative reciprocal slope and use it for my tangent line. And then I also know a point on that tangent line. So then I would have a slope and a point. I could use point slope form. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slope of this radius right here. So slope of radius. All right, I'm just going to use good old-fashioned slope formula, change of the y's over the changes of the x's. So I'm going to do a 3 minus a negative 2, change of the y's, all over the change of the x's, 5 minus 3. All right, that's going to then give me a 5 on top and a 2 on the bottom. That's the slope of my radius. Now, like I said, it's going to be perpendicular to the slope of the tangent line. So that means I'm going to have to use the negative reciprocal of that. So I'm going to use a negative 2 fifths as the slope. Use negative 2 fifths as slope of the tangent line. Okay, now I know a point on that tangent line, that 5, 3. So I will use the point and I will use the negative reciprocal slope. Since I know a point and a slope, then it makes sense just to use point slope form of that equation. So when we write that, we will do the opposite of these when we go to plug them in. So the equation of my tangent line is going to be y minus 3, opposite of those points up there, using that negative reciprocal slope, negative 2 fifths, and then x, opposite of this point right here, minus Okay, now since the equation or since the question did not tell you what form to write the line in, I would say there's absolutely nothing wrong with stopping right there and just using that point slope form. Could you manipulate it? Could you distribute and go into slope intercept form? Yes. Could you distrib uh, you know, distribute, move terms around and do general form? Yes. All right, but since the question did not specify the form of that equation, then I would say that's sufficient. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.